Do I have to say the obvious? Actually, I just love the picture. It's 80s all the way. I just want to watch an 80s movie right now with, I don't know, like John Travolta. And at the same time, this is also so revival that it's happening right now in a lot of pop music, you know, uh, which I love. Also the aesthetic, you know, with the fonts and the writing and the lights like that. So thumbs up already. Que dança, yes! Tudo em você é fugaz. Fugaz. Ok, fugaz. I love the way she can answer a summer smile. Só vou te contar um segredo. Segredo. Não nada, nada de um nos alcança. Nice way she. La la. She seems like a little bit going whispering and falsetto. My mixed voice. Also for set maybe. Anyway, around that area. Gostando você, meu brinquedo. Oh. Nada machuca, nem cansa. Ah, nem cansa. I was waiting to go out. Oh, this song has very nice vibe and also there was a certain point that came in uh, I think already twice this nice synth underneath doing this fast kind of solo a little bit very very nice that part the that electronic part here yeah, it's such much more like uh, uh, yeah going a little bit more kind of jazzy samba how do you call it bossa nova I'll get there I promise Hey, you listen. You're already coming on uh, on TikTok. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Azora, Azora Lee. Thank you. Beautiful. There's this beautiful like bass. Boom, 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 boom. It reminds me of Michael Jackson a little bit. This stuff is very nice, actually. Of course. Maybe at the time it was more on the commercial spectrum of music, quite uh, popish. But right now, you know, when you listen to this, I really enjoy the sonority. I really enjoy the orchestration and the instruments. And of course, the whole like uh, take on the electronic music that, uh, uh, yeah, basically, I think was born uh, in, in Europe mostly. Um, and you get a lot of those great bands like the Pesh Mode, you know, which they carried on to a um, like an international level. And of course, there's many, many, many af afterward, uh, um, afterwards. Um, I wanted to say like the name of the first one. It didn't came to mind before, and now it does. Kraftwerk. Huh? From from those guys on, we get all those nice electronic sounds. In, in pop music in the 80s and this is so well produced this if it was sang in English could have been just I always say those things but 
I'm always surprised when I find a song that has that kind of production that it's done extremely well, you know, extremely well. That really sounds like, I don't know, Cindy Lauper or something, you know. We didn't really have that in Italy. A lot of times when they tried to emulate a style that came from the outside, it always seemed to be a little bit deluded, you know, like washed down, so to speak. So you, you never had those really kind of thing going on, at least not that I know of. Uh, the music that I was listening. So when I find out those in other places of the world, like I always say also for like uh, Argentinian rock, you know, which is incredibly good in terms of sonority. Like uh, it's it's as good as the one that come, comes out of the UK or the US in that way for me, for me, for my liking or whatever. So to see also Brazilian artists doing this kind of production, so good. Nice. It really enriches the sort of the roster of possibilities of artists that you put in your playlist, you know, like there's so much good music out there. little accent in going on there is a lot of stuff going on in the song actually that makes it really nice this last part so a little bit of bass solo the keys on top very nice a little bit the bass keeps going Oh, nice! And the bass keeps going, soloing, fade out with the keys on top doing that fast part that I like. Oh, I really like the way it ends this song. Actually, uh, it's really like 